G'day superstars, today we're talking about five amazing text effects you can do in DaVinci Resolve. They look like this, and this, and this, but the best one I'm saving for last, which is this effect. How cool is that? And you can do it all in DaVinci Resolve without using any other plugins whatsoever. So let's get straight to it. Okay, the first clip we're gonna do, we're gonna do a thing called a glitch effect, which looks like this. First place you need to go is go to the toolbox. It could be up here on the left. Mine I've got set down here. Then go down to titles. We do a standard text effect. We click and hold and we're going to drag that into your timeline. Click on your text file, go up to inspector, and we're going to change it to whatever you want to change it to. So we call it cool effect. And we can change the font if you want to. You can change it to whatever you want. And so on. Let's just do that one for now. Close your inspector off. Now that you're in your toolbox, open effects, which is down here on the left. And once you're in Fusion Effects, scroll down to Digital Glitch. Now, you can't actually apply this Digital Glitch effect to your text file because it's not a compound clip. So you need to right-click on the text file and click New Compound Clip. You can call this what you want. We're going to call this one Cool Effect. Go Create. And then you can take that Digital Glitch effect and put it straight on top of your Cool Effect text. Now when you press Play, you've got this cool glitch effect. The next effect we're going to do is a typewriter effect. So if you click on the toolbox on over the left here and then go titles, this one has to be a text plus effect. So click on that. You're going to bring that into the timeline like so. You're going to select it, go up to inspector and call this one typewriter. You can change the font to whatever you like. Now while you're in the inspector tab, you scroll down to where it says right on. Now you can change the font, change the color, change whatever you want, size, whatever you want in here as well. But if you go down to where it says right on, that's what the next section we're going to need to work on. So make sure your play bar is at the start. And we're going to go back over to right on over here. We're going to grab that right hand dot. And we're going to bring it all the way across there and we're going to click and create a keyframe. Now what you need to do is you need to scroll forward to where you want the typewriter effect to end which may be about here and then you drag that ball again on the right hand side where it says right on you drag that all the way to the right and it automatically created a keyframe for you. Now if you watch it it types on. And of course if you get the typewriter font and add some sounds that looks really good. Very simple effect to do. Now we're going to do a water effect. This is a text plus text, just like the one before. So you go to Toolbox, Titles, Text Plus, and drag it across. We're going to give it uh, a name. So click on Inspector. We're going to call this one. Actually, we might do capitals. We call this one Watery Wet, as you can see. We've got a picture at the bottom of a swimming pool, which I actually got from Google. So we're going to put that underneath the text effect. So you're going to bring the text effect up, bring that one across, and there you have it. Now it says watery wet. Let's bring the size of that text up a little bit. So we go over to inspector, select your text, go over to inspector, and select size just to bring it up a bit. And let's change the font to maybe a Montserrat font, and change it to extra bold. There we go. And while the inspector is open, we're going to change the selection from the text file to the water file. And we're just going to go zoom over here and we're going to zoom it so it fills the frame. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back over to your toolbox over here. We're going to scroll down to open effects. And then we're going to hit the search bar up here and it says fast noise. There it is there. And what we're going to do is we're going to drag it across and we put it on the water layer at the bottom. And of course it's going to make it look weird and stupid. Make sure the water file is still open and go over to inspector. If you go to effects, you can see that we have the fast noise effect here. You can turn it on and off if you want to. But these are all the controls for that particular fast noise effect. So now we're going to change the default to water surface. Once you've done it, you can press play and now you've got a moving water surface. But what if you wanted to move the text as well? Okay, so now you go back over to the fast noise effect and you click on it and select it and add it to the text plus effect. 
You've got the same effect here as well with the water. Make sure the text file is selected. Go back over to Inspector up the top right here and Effects and change the default to water surface as well. And now when you press play, you should have it all moving together. And of course, if you wanted to just have the text moving and not the water, you select the, the water file and then go over to Fast Noise and turn it off. Now when you press play, it's just the watery text. So you can have it with both of them moving or either of them moving. It just depends on what you want. But you might have noticed that with the text effect and the watery clip, if you have, it, if you have them both on, that they don't move together. The watery text seems to move independent of the water. But you can actually make them work together. So we're going to turn that effect off on the text and we're going to turn the effect off on the fast noise. So you go back to toolbox and then effects, grab an adjustment clip, and put that on top. Now what an adjustment clip is, it's a layer you can apply effects to and it affects everything underneath. So you can do whatever you want to this adjustment clip and it will affect any file you put underneath without actually changing those files. If you took the adjustment clip away, your files are untouched. That's how it basically works. So you go back over to Toolbox again, click on Open FX, go to the search bar again, and type in Fast Noise. Grab that and put it to your adjustment clip. That's going to affect everything. If you turn that adjustment clip, it's like if you move that adjustment clip out of the way, you'll see everything is exactly the same. So it's just affecting that particular clip. Make sure the adjustment clip is selected. Go over to your Inspector FX tab again. You'll see Fast Noise here. Change that default to water surface again and now when you watch it they're all moving together it's much more cohesive than it was before okay now i'm going to show you some different animations you can do with text i've left the pool image here which isn't animated it doesn't do anything just as a background to show what your text looks like against it go over to your effects toolbox again scroll down to titles and we'll just do a normal text effect which we're going to put on top of that swimming pool click on that text file go up to inspector and we'll change the name of that to, we're going to call it, uh, I'm just going to call this one Transition. Transition Text. Just for the fun of it. And we're going to scale it up a little bit by using the zoom down the bottom here. Scale it up to about there. And we'll change it to any font that looks good. We'll just go with that one. If you go back over to your toolbox over the left here, click Toolbox again, you've got Video Transitions. Now you've got to scroll down to Fusion, to your Fusion Transitions. And these are all things you can apply to your text. Let's put the circle spin one on the text here, for instance, and press play. And that's the kind of effect you get. Now you can stretch this out, make it come on slower or faster. This will be slower now. The Fall and Bounce one is one I like as well, so you can put that on here like that. It just falls down and bounces into place like that. Another favourite of mine is film strip as well. And you can of course make that go as long as you want. And of course you can select it as I said before. Hit the delete key. There's so many cool effects here like uh, you've got the glow effect which looks really good. And all this is built into DaVinci Resolve which is amazing. Okay, the last one's the best one. The last one's gonna be the super zoom one. So we're gonna get a picture of the city. This effect is a fly-through effect. This is very, very cool. I've got some drone footage over here that I've just loaded in. I'm gonna put that down here like this. You can see it's pretty nice drone footage and it's the city of Melbourne in the background. And we're gonna move this up to video two. I'm just gonna right click on it because these, this has an audio file connected to it. We don't need that. So I'm gonna right click on that. Click on Link Clips to de-link the two of them. And then I'm just going to select the uh, Inner Suburbs audio file there and hit Backspace and get rid of it. So now we just have the video. We're going to do the same thing as before. We're going to go over to the Toolbox Library, scroll down to Titles, and we're just going to grab the text effect here. We're going to put that on Video 1 underneath. Let's stretch that out a bit to fit. I'm going to select that, go over to Inspector on the right, and we're going to change the title to something else. Let's call it Drone Zoom. And you're going to scroll down to where it says Composite, and you change it from Normal to Multiply. Now that we've done that, we're going to change the font to something else because it's boring. 
click on the text file, go over to Inspector again. Um, then under video you'll see that we've got open sand. We're gonna change that text to, I think Montserrat. I always like Montserrat, it always looks good. And we'll go extra bold. Now we're gonna zoom it in, so we're gonna to go to, just under where it says color, there is a thing called size. We're gonna zoom that all the way up to it's about there. Now when you press play, you can see the footage is moving behind the text. Okay, now we're going to close that inspector down for a second. Now we've got to do a little bit of work between these two clips. So scroll to the part where you want it to start to zoom. Let's just say here. Click on the blade button up the top here. And we're just gonna cut that clip, just the text file like that. Then we're gonna scroll maybe one or two seconds. So at the moment it's at the six second mark. So let's scroll to say the eight second mark like so. Now you're there, go back to the arrow, change it from the blade to the arrow, hold down the control key, select the video file and the text file, and once those two are selected, do control B, and that'll cut the video and the text together. The first one is just here, it's one cut just in a text file, and the second one is cutting the text file and the video at the same time. Now we're going to select the video on the right hand side here, which is after we've cut, we're going to go back up to Inspector. We're going to go down to Composite. We change the viewing mode from Multiply back to Normal. Scroll all the way up to the top. Scroll all the way to the top. And click on Normal. So I'm going to show what it's doing at the moment. So you've got this sort of zoom going on. You've got the footage moving in the background. It's all great. You've got to cut in the text. And then it goes back to Normal. Now we're actually going to animate it. So make sure you select this little text file in the middle, the one we've cut. You can see it's there by itself, a little lonesome text file. Click on that, make sure the video is selected, scroll down to dynamic zoom. And click the dynamic zoom effect on. Now it's probably going to be zooming the wrong way now, so let's have a look. Yeah, it's zooming the wrong way, that's fine. It does it by default. If you go over to the left here, you see this square and this little arrow. Click that arrow and drag, go down to dynamic zoom you see a, a box appear on your screen. How dynamic zoom works is the green box is where you're starting, where the zoom starts, and the red box is where the zoom ends. So grab the red box, just hold and click, and drag it down till it fits inside, let's just say it fits inside the E, like that. You have gotta make sure that you're not in any of the black areas, so just make it small enough to make sure it's inside one of the letters. By the way, to zoom in and have a look, you're just scrolling the mouse. And then we'll just get the green box now and make it full size of the screen. It can even be a bit bigger, it doesn't matter. Now let's hit play and have a look. We're not going to play the whole thing, we'll start it about here. And straight through the text we go. Now the animation is just set at a standard pace. It just moves at an even pace and if that's what you want, that's great. Otherwise you can select that little text again, go over to your inspector and you go back down to dynamic zoom on the right here and you can see it says linear. Change that to ease in or you can have it ease in and out if you want to but for this one we we'll do ease in which means what it does it starts off slow and gets faster as it gets closer so if you watch it it's a slight difference. Go back to linear you can see the difference here. Just a bit nicer, it starts off a bit slower. And of course, if you wanted that zoom to last longer and be a lot slower, you just, when you first start, just make this file here before you cut it, make it longer. Don't make it two seconds, maybe make it four seconds if that's what you're going for. That way you get a longer zoom. Now that you've learned these amazing text effects, click this video here for 36 shortcuts on DaVinci that will make your life a hell of a lot easier. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.